Hey guys, so I just wanted to kind of touch on, I know it's a month late, but I wanted to touch on Edplant coming back to YouTube. I know that I haven't exactly been active in the community long enough to possibly have a say, but just the fact that he's back after what he did, it it is disturbing to me. And um, before anybody tries to say that, you know, slandering or anything like that, I actually have a page up right here that he wrote, and I will read it to you. In the last 24 hours, accusations of infidelity and sexual and emotional abuse have been made against me. Last October, while in a relationship, I had sex with a person at one point, if not at that time, considered themselves a fan of my music and online persona. This happened after a gig we both attended with mutual friends I was not performing. After at least one other social interaction without the attached stigma of fan creator. Over the following eight months, we engaged in sexual activity on a number of occasions. The last, which was the result of me pressuring her after I had been repeatedly told to stop. Over the course of those eight months, I treated her appallingly, manipulated her, and behaved in an extremely misogynistic way towards her. So, that is the proof that he put that. I'll even put it in the description. I will give you the link. And just that somebody can sit there and admit that is, I think, I think to admit it is a good thing. But to come back to said social media site, aka YouTube, and to try to come back into the community, I think is really stupid because you do not sit there, you do not... He basically raped her, and I do not take that lightly at all. I kind of just really don't like him just because of that. I refuse to listen to his music, and honestly, I think that in a funny, not even really funny, in a way, YouTube should take a stand to have his channel removed, frankly. I mean, why are we keeping his channel up in the first place? Because he can make good music? So that he can make money off of it? I think it is really dumb to keep his channel running. He doesn't deserve to be in the community in the first place. Because he was in... A power of strength, basically. And that's what you are when you are a YouTube content creator. You are in that power to convince people, to talk to people, to do all these things with people in their minds. And he took that power and he crushed it. And frankly, it can give YouTube a bad name. It can get content creators a bad name. And that is just not something that we should sit and stand for. But that's just my thoughts on it. Tell me what you think in the comments, because I'm actually interested to hear other people's thoughts. Alrighty, bye.